Hey guys, my name is Noah Stoner and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to start this video off by having a little talk with you guys. Today's video is going to be a bit longer than most, I guess, because I've decided that I'm going to film the process of me sewing my own prom dress. People might be asking, like, why would you do that now? You don't even know if you're going to have a prom or not. I feel as though it would be cool to see my creation come to life. Or, like, I see this picture in my head of what the dress would look like. So I just kind of want to make it happen, you know? I made my, my dress for sixth grade spring ball and then prom in ninth grade and then now... I'm going to make my own dress for senior prom. So I knew even when I started, when I made like the first dress in sixth grade, I knew that for senior prom I would be sewing my own dress. This is what the dress looked like in ninth grade. It started off with another design than what it turned out to be. It's very pretty, but it's not actually what I wanted it to be. But now I have another design that I have in mind, you know, and it's easier, I think, to make the pattern because I'm going to make the pattern myself which is I mean a bit harder than just finding a pattern and sewing it together it's going to be like me sewing two dresses so that I can make it first in one piece of fabric and so that I can adjust it and stuff and then I know exactly what I'm going to do when I have the real fabric so I haven't bought the real fabric yet I thought I would start today because it's Easter break although we have distance schooling so every day feels like a break but we're in Easter break now and I just decided that I thought I would start it. Um, I thought it would be a fun memory to see how it, um, how I follow through with it, you know? And if the prom actually happens, so we'll see how it goes, so. Okay, so I'm going to start off by um, taking my mannequin that I have. It's not really my measurement, so my cousin told me to um, just try it out on this first and then adjust it, so. I'm gonna bring this with me into the other room where I have my sewing machine. Oh, I'm not gonna have this. So I have the mannequin and this is my sewing machine. So what I have to do is like measure. So I'm gonna measure this bodice and then make sure it's nice and accurate and then measure myself and also then start draping. Also, it's only the bodice that I need to reconstruct because I already have the pattern for the underskirt. <laughs> This is how far I've come with the pattern making. Um, this side is the side that I'm going off of. And I'm going to cut these two pieces out. I'm going to like lay them under some paper and then cut them out. And then make an identical other side because this one is, you know, I was trying different things. So I'm going to cut this one out again and then try and see how it fits on me. And then I'm going to start the draping of the um, silk fabric. I wanted to like bunch it up. Like as you can see it's a little bunched already like this. And then have like strands like this going so it's, there's like a lot here. Hey guys, it's been a long time since the last clip. But now I am on my way to the fabric store to actually buy the real fabric for the dress because I have nothing better to do with my life. It is now September. I started the dress during quarantine and then we ended up not having a prom so I never prioritized finishing the dress. Now, since I don't have anything better to do during my days, I am going to try and finish the dress because I want to see what it looks like because I feel like it would look cool. And also, if I'm doing it all by myself, I f will feel accomplished. So we're going to go buy the fabric right now. I'm at the fabric store. I found the base fabric that I want, but I can't find the drapery fabric, like the one that I want to have on top. I don't think I've shown the design yet, but like, I have an idea. I have successfully secured the bag of fabric. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so funny.
it's me. It is currently 22 3 in the morning and I've been sewing and I'm actually almost done with the dress. Here it is. Um, this is what I need to do is like hem the bottom and then <clears throat> now I also have to attach the zipper into the side. And I also have to kind of find figure out how the what the neckline is going to look like is because it isn't really fitting me the best right now, but I just kind of wanted to see it come to life. I sewed a seam that had like longer a longer stitch length and then I pulled the the thread to make it roughly like this. And the reason why I'm not using the draping fabric on top of the skirt is because I only had enough fabric to for one side of the skirt and when I went back to the store they said that they won't be buying anything for a while because of COVID like the prices are higher and stuff so I decided just to try and make it anyway and see what it looks like so this is my solution to just make a red you know, it kind of looks like the Marilyn Monroe dress right now, but anyway, what I'm going to do now is attach the zipper. I have to iron the edges of the waistband so that they are more clean. Um, hem the bottom, sew in the zipper, and then um, do some cleaning up with like um, overlock and stuff. It's not going to take that long, but we'll see how it goes and then you get to see the final product on me when I'm done. I'm probably not going to be done tonight. Hey, we're Hey guys, my name is Mostar and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so this is what the dress looks like in the end. Um, you might be hearing some sounds in the background. It's because my friends are here with me on Skype. Say hey! Um, but yeah, this is the final product. I was supposed to have like a over fabric that would be like a little bit more flowy, but it ended up not working out because they didn't have the fabrics left in the store. I thought that I would just finish it to see what it looked like. And I am satisfied with the with the final product given the circumstances. And I might be able to make a better version um, in the future. But for me, making this completely from scratch and by myself without any help this time, I am giving myself a pat on the back for a good job. and. Yeah, so I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of me, then subscribe down below to my channel. Also, comment down below anything you want me to film. I kind of want to sew something else now that it's more of a second lockdown for quarantine and COVID. And if you send me some ideas of um, stuff that you might want me to, to sew and make for myself. And, and I try to make it. So, bye! And I'm off. Bye. 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 Aha. Sluta skratta, det är inte roligt.